What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about the animated switcher and animated position widgets guys. I already said that I'll be talking about these two uh, in my previous anim video where I talked about animated containers right in one of our previous UI challenge videos I said that I'll be making a video on uh, animated switcher and animated position widgets. These two widgets in short they are really helpful when you're trying to create simple in uh, animations in your Flutter applications guys or rather when you try to uh, animate the existing widgets inside your Flutter applications. So rather than talking about them, I thought it would be cool if I just made something uh, useful for you guys so that I can demonstrate how to use these widgets as well inside your Flutter applications. So I thought I'll make this rather cool looking uh, circular radial menu button. Okay, I know there's already a couple of videos on the internet showing how to do this, but using the animated switcher and animated position widgets, it's really simple and it's really easy to make uh, such a cool looking uh, menu button. First, I'll show you what exactly we'll be making. So this is the uh, circular menu button right at the center of the screen. If I tap on this, watch what happens. You can see that there is a list of options that are thrown out from this menu button. Not only that, if you notice the icons rotate once, right? It looks really cool, right? So this is exactly what we are going to be doing in, in this video using animated switcher and animated position widgets. It's really simple. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. If you notice, I have a, a blank application scaffolded out here, right? Uh, inside the body, let's go ahead and first create a stack. The stack will hold our uh, circular button as well as all the uh, menu options as well. Stack uh, children. First, we'll go ahead and uh, create the uh, circular the, the button at the center, the circular button at the center. So what I'll do is I'll use an align widget for that. Align. Uh, Alignment dot center child here I'll use an animated switcher fine and uh, what we need to do we need to animate and uh, we need to switch between two widgets one is the blue colored home button and another one is the red colored uh, close button so we'll be using a scale transition I'll show you how to use a scale transition first that is the blue color uh, button will collapse and then the red colored button would uh, rise up from that collapsed button okay you'll when you see it on the mobile device you'll understand it better uh, i think i'm not trying explaining it properly so what i'll do is inside the animated switcher i'll have a duration and uh, duration milliseconds i'll have some 200 okay it should be quick rather quick right so duration milliseconds 200 and then transition builder uh, widget child animation double sorry animation this is a function actually uh, return scale transition child child sorry child and uh, scale will be the actual animation fine uh, now we have a transition builder the uh, thing that actually denotes what's going to happen the animation uh, that's going to happen and after this we can simply go ahead and uh, oh, sorry child would be a uh, first we need to check whether it's opened or closed right so opened if it's opened uh, I'll have an inkwell if it's closed as well I'll have an inkwell fine uh, we need to create a state right
All right, uh, let's just copy this. Rather than typing out again, paste it. The only difference we'll be making here is this will be a red button. Here the icon would be close. And uh, here it will be to save this. Let's run this on the mobile device, see how this runs. Okay. Now uh, we, uh, we have this button right at the middle, right? If we just tap on this. You can see that it automatically scales to switch between the widgets, right? If you increase the milliseconds, you will actually see this animation a little bit uh, more clearly. It has increased. Now just watch. You could see it, right? It's actually scaling uh, as it uh, switches in between the widgets, right? Now uh, I already talked about this key as well. If you don't give this key, it won't recognize these two widgets as separate widgets. It will simply think both are equal widgets. We'll show you. If I don't give this key, just watch what happens. There is no animation, right? Literally, there was no animation. That's because these two are the same equal widgets, right? Now only this, uh, where is it? This condition is applied. So when it's opened, it's showing a circular button and when it's closed, it's showing the other circular button. That's it. There is no animation. Since uh, the animated switcher doesn't think that these two are two different widgets. That's the reason why we are giving a unique key for both these widgets. Fine. Now if you tap, you can see that wonderful animation being applied as well. Right? All right. Now let's go ahead and try to place all the buttons behind this big button so that it explodes and uh, spews out a lot of uh, smaller menu options. That would be pretty much easy. Wait, I'll show you. For that, we'll be using animated position. Okay. All right, guys, now you can see that uh, I have created an animated position widget here. And what I'm doing is uh, uh, I'm adjusting the position here based on the uh, tap. OK, if the user has tapped uh, uh, to open the menu button, then we need to uh, show the menu option. Otherwise, we need to just push it back uh, beneath the menu button. That's it, right? And for the menu button, I'm using a separate function called build option, which again is nothing but a animated switcher widget. Inside this widget, if you notice, I'm using a rotation transition. There we used a scale transition, right? Here, here we used a scale transition. Here I'm using a similar transition called rotated transition, rotation transition, which will simply rotate that particular widget. You'll understand this a lot better when you actually see it on the mobile device. So I'll just save it now and I'll show it to you guys on the mobile device. Yeah. Now if you try tapping on the home button, you can see that a new menu button, an option menu has simply uh, been thrown out of that button, right? If you just tap to close it. So you are simply using animated position widget here. Wait, I'll show you. Animated position widget here to adjust the position of that 
particular uh, menu option button the main this menu option button and that based on that uh, values that we give that you give here it will automatically uh, either throw out that menu button or simply uh, pull that back to its original uh, position that is beneath the home button so all we need to do now is create similar animated position budgets uh, i mean position buttons i will just uh, pause the recording here and then finish this fine this is done as well right now uh, you can see that i have created a large amount of option buttons and I have simply adjusted these values accordingly, that's it. And I have used different icons, bicycle glass and all that, with different colors obviously. The icon color is white, but uh, if you notice the button color, I am using green, brown and uh, deep orange and all that, right? So I have a lot of buttons guys, that's exactly what I am trying to say here. Let's save this and see how this looks on the mobile device. Alright, now let's just tap on the home button. Wow. you get all these buttons thrown out in different directions right and they rotate once so that uh, this rotation transition is also applied since this is an animated switcher widget now what you can do is you can increase this milliseconds to delay or uh, fasten that particular rotation transition but yeah you can play around uh, with these options and then try out a lot of stuff for yourself guys but now you understand how easy it is to create a uh, radial menu a simple radial menu button like this using the animated switcher and the animated position widgets right i wanted to talk about these animated switcher and animated position and then show you maybe like uh, switching from text widget to a, a container or something guys but i thought that that, that that's not cool right that wouldn't look cool on a video so uh, i thought maybe uh, i could show my viewers show my friends something that would also help them uh, in their flutter applications and that would also be useful for them in their flutter applications that's why i thought maybe i'll create a radial menu and then uh, show you guys how to do that using animated switcher and animated position and it's really simple to use these two uh, widgets in order to make your existing widgets look really cool all i used is containers here if you notice all i used is containers just containers right and uh, I simply used inkwells to uh, get the tap actions from those containers and based on the tap actions this entire thing is done and this entire thing is done using animated switcher and animated position widgets alone right so yeah guys this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys today if you uh, like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button kindly hit the thumbs up button if you like what I'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button okay kindly hit the subscribe button it's free guys just hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon bell notifications icon it will send you notifications each and every time i upload a new video so that you don't miss out on any of my content and as also ask your friends to subscribe or share or tweet about this video if you found this helpful okay and uh, yeah hit the thumbs up button in, our, in my next video i'll either post a ua challenge or i'll uh, do this shader mask widget a lot of people have been asking about that as well shader mask uh, uh, has a plenty of options guys i'll show that in my next video probably so yeah uh, subscribe to my channel guys and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye